Well then, Bunce Mythology and all of you playing along at home in your podcast fantasy leagues. It's time once again for another wildly unpopular installment of... What are you doing, Maxwell? You just suddenly like walked up here and started whispering into the microphone. That's creepy. People are going to think I'm haunted or something. It's time once again for another... Stop haunting my podcast, Maxwell. Max, sit down. It's time once again for another wildly unpopular installment of... Steve's Unpopular Opinions! Dun, dun, dun. And this week I am tackling records. Records. LPs. Or, in other words, what hipsters use to masturbate with. <laughs> they just get the record and then they they rub themselves on the ridges and they're like, oh, Miles Davis. <laughs> oh, this is such a pure sound. <laughs> Do hipsters even exist anymore? Like, you never hear hipster anymore. It's all millennials. Yeah, I think they all got lumped in together there. Yeah. I don't know. I, See, I, I, I never get any kind of invitation to the voting on any of this. Like, yeah. You know, I, I'm, I'm like, I, well, like, I'm okay with being Swiss, uh, cisgender, but, like, it's not like anybody asked me. Yeah. You know? And yuppies. I'm pissed off that no one's a yuppie anymore. That nobody is a yuppie. Yeah, what happened to all the, to yeah. All the yuppies? Yeah, what happened to all the yuppies and the jocks? And like, if you remember, if you remember, just shortly before the yuppies were the preppies. Yeah. Nobody hates preppies anymore. And there would be preppy posters up in the mall and stuff like that and different yeah. preppy paraphernalia. Their sweaters tied around their necks. Yes. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. And then it went to yuppies. Polo shirts and khaki. And yeah, things. what happened to them? They got yeah. old. That's what. And they I'm, weren't I'm trendy gonna, anymore. I'm, Once I'm, you get old, you're not trendy anymore. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to yeah. go with Hail Bop for, the, for this Nice. One. Nice. I'm going Hail Bop. That, that's what happened to the yuppies. I think that the yuppies all disappeared along with Lance Armstrong's career. <laughs> because Lance Armstrong's lies affects all of us. Yes, it does. I think it's important to say that. Anyway, I fucking hate records. Okay. Now, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I hate them. I hate them with a passion. Fuck LPs. I know that I'm technically in my 40s now, so I'm basically not allowed to say this. Yeah. Like, me saying I hate records is like a 60-year-old white Christian male saying, you know what? I hate golf. (laughs) It's like a 60-year-old white Christian male saying, I hate golf. And also, I'm totally not secretly gay. (laughs) See, for me, when CDs first came out, I was like, oh, fucking thank God. You know? Because you can tell what my favorite album was by how much dust was being dragged behind the needle. Yep. You know? So, like, Aqualung built up, like, about a half inch. Yeah. You know? Stevie Nicks did pretty good. uh, Her first solo at Belladonna had... um, a good amount of dust. So did Houses of the Holy. You know? Yeah. Uh, so when CDs came out, I was like, fucking finally. You know? Yeah. I can't hurt these. <laughs> right. Anyway, God damn it, I hate records. I hate them, and I'll tell you why. First off, there is no classification of human being on Earth more conceited than a record collector. Yeah. Or, here's another word for them. Music hoarders. <laughs> that's just another word for a record collector. A music hoarder. I think for a lot of these people who collect records, it, the obsession becomes less about the music and the quality of the sound, and it more just becomes Pokemon. It's more about Pokemon than music. 
<laughs> it, it, it's not really that you care about the music. At some point, it's just like, I've got to catch them all. Yes. I have to own all the records. Well, comics gets like that, too, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially with crossovers. I, I You know, I was a sucker for any kind of crossover, so that's where you would get me. If I found out that, like, Iron Man was going to be in a Thor comic, I would have to get yeah. that Thor comic. Yeah. yeah. Or there was a period in time in, like, the 80s and the 90s where it's like, hey... You know, I've been working on the Silver Surfer comic book, and I'm just having a hard time. So I'm coming to you, Marvel, hoping that you can maybe give me some more uh, press, give me some more money, help me with my budget. And they're like, no, how about this? We'll give you Wolverine for two issues, and we'll give you a golden foil cover and okay. with, with, like a, with like a hologram on it. There you go. That was every other comic book during that period in time. Yeah. Okay, here's Wolverine. Suddenly, Wolverine was in every comic book. Oh, God, Wolverine was all over the place. Yeah. All over the place. Well, that's that's kind of the same thing, I, I, I'm sure. Like, I, I wouldn't have read Alpha Flight for any other fucking reason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but I'm sure it was like, oh, Wolverine's on the cover. Let's, let's give it a whirl. I am. I'm currently reading Star Lord's new comic book, and it's really, really good because there was recently Civil War Two. Yeah, and after Civil War Two, um, the Guardians break up, and their spaceship is broken. So uh, Star Lord is now stuck on Earth, and it's really, really great because it's it's just, it's like a fish out of water story. Yeah. And, like, someone goes to visit him, and it's like, why are you drinking? It's 9 a.m. And it's like, well, I don't know about your Earth drinking laws. Are there times I can't eat as well? <laughs> it's really wonderful. Nice. He, he starts bartending at this bar called the Bar With No Name, where uh, any superhero or supervillain can go there and drink, no questions asked. So okay. he's tending bar at this place with all of these villains, and then one of the villains disappears, and so um, uh, the Shocker teams up with Star-Lord to help find this missing bad guy. And it's so weird, because the Shocker's like, um, how do we save him? I'm usually not the good guy, so like, I know how to break into a bank. And how to get my ass beaten up by Spider-Man. But beyond that, this really isn't my wheelhouse. <laughs> and Star-Lord's like, it's pretty much the same thing. Just imagine you're breaking into a bank, except instead of stealing money, we're stealing a human. It's like, wow, thank you so much. Just put it in pr into perspective for me. Yes. yes, Bella? Some of us haven't seen that movie, Dad. We're, I'm not talking about Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I'm talking about the comic books. You haven't read any of these comic books. This isn't a freaking spoiler for you. That's like me saying, oh, no, I haven't watched that Liars episode. Spoilers, spoilers. I don't want fucking... You, you have no knowledge of this. So vinyl is an obsession with a large classification of self-obsessed man. Almost always men, in fact. In fact, they made an entire movie about this. It's called High Fidelity. Mm -hmm. Now, I love the movie High Fidelity, but can you imagine being legitimate friends with anyone in that film? No. Like, I love the movie. I could watch that over and over again, but I can't imagine being friends with Jack Black's character in that fucking movie. I, I, and, and I'm still like really kind of a, a Jack Black fan. Like I never, you know, I'm still hoping that he's going to do something good one day. But, but n no, to hang out with him, like how quickly that would get annoying. Yeah, I'm hoping that one day Jack Black does a movie based on his namesake. Jack Black was the name of a famous rat catcher in England. Ah. 
and, and he he was just a poor guy, but he was really good at catching rats. And suddenly he became rich and famous, and he's rubbing elbows with like the queen and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I could totally see Jack Black being Jack Black in the Jack Black movie. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. So, I hate LPs. Number one, the people who collect them are dicks. Number two, I am old enough to remember the fall of records. Yes. My parents had a bunch of records. They basically had all of the records they were supposed to have in the 70s. So we had Saturday Night Fever, we had Grease, we had the best of the Bee Gees, uh, Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack, every record made by Julio Iglesias. Yeah. (laughs) By the 80s, though, it all moved to cassettes, so I was able to get a really cheap record collection growing up. Mm -hmm. I had a few Steve Martin LPs, which were great. By the time I was in high school... Um, there was a, a big music store by Metro Center Mall in Phoenix. It was between Metro Center Mall and the big Toys R We. It was half guitar center, half musical consignment store. And I, I, I became obsessed with that place. I would go there all the time because the records were super cheap because it's like 1993 and no one gives a shit about records anymore. Mm-hmm. So you would be able to get all of these records for next to nothing. I owned every Money Python record for a while. Yeah, nice. Like the contractual obligation record and like the soundtrack to the the Life of Brian and uh, Money Python and the Holy Grail. I yeah. tried to get as many Beatles as I could. Like you could get, you could go there and get a new unopened sealed Sergeant Pepper for like twelve bucks. Nice. You know, now I'm in my forties. Technically, I'm technically in my forties, and the bookstore I work at has fucking records. <laughs> And a new unopened Sergeant Pepper is now like forty nine ninety five, and oh. that pisses me the fuck off. Mm-hmm. Like no, no, I had so many. You could buy like Revolver for like five bucks. I'm not paying forty dollars for a Revolver. <laughs> you know, I saw the records fall, and now they're fucking back. No, I am not doing this again. No records. No. The closest thing I got to caring about records is we carry this special Guardians of the Galaxy record player. And I'm still like, no, no, you got close. (laughs) You got close records. And I'll give you like a like a thumbs up. But no, still no. I don't care about records. 